trying to look better for aunt mabel i said a remark that i instantly regretted because grandmother overheard it and brought the flat of her broad hand down on my head so before uh, ex the explanation of this let me just rewind whatever we did yesterday yesterday's class we had seen aunt mabel comes isn't it a grandfather before that grandfather had kept the python in the bathroom and when he returns with the chicken for him isn't it uh, when that when he comes back to the bathroom to give the chicken what he finds that uh, the python was not there in the bathroom the python left the bathroom through the window of the bathroom and then for 3 days the python was not to be seen anywhere so the grandfather and narrator thought that the python might have gone far away from their house so with that to hope they were in the house when aunt mabel came uh, the third day in the evening by evening uh, it was evening that towards evening uh, when she went out in, near the gava tree she happened to see she was trying to pluck the gava fruit so as she was trying to pluck she happened to see the uh, python on the tree and uh, she found the python was staring at her so seeing that she got scared and she came running towards the house screaming so with that again they went on searching so they came to know that the python is still there somewhere around their house and they went on searching so wherever they searched they were unable to find the python and uh, but uh, many a times it so happened later on also aunt mabel happened to see the Uh, python out uh, somewhere uh, isn't it in the garden and again she got scared and she came running so all these things we had seen so after all these they they were hunting to uh, they were hunting out for the python and they were unable to find both grandfather and the narrator they were unable to find the python so there it went to the once the narrator happened to see it in front of the mirror admiring itself in front of the mirror so seeing that he went to call his grandfather but when he returned with grandfather again the python went off from the uh, mirror right so that is what we had seen in our previous class so let us concentrate on today's class so here in this paragraph in this line over here this is what is said he is trying to look better so the python he over here refers to the python python is trying to look better for aunt mabel who said this narrator said a remark that i instantly regretted okay so soon after saying this itself he just regretted he felt uh, saying uh, he felt sorry for saying so right because why he felt he didn't felt really saying he didn't feel sorry for saying it to aunt mabel he felt so because of grandmother's attitude grandmother happened to hear it overheard what the narrator said and brought the flat of her broad hand down on her head so she had put her head hand on narrator's head banging his head right so that is what she has done because she didn't like such a comment for aunt mabel so and she never wanted small children to pass such comments to elderly people that is why it was a warning sort of thing what she did to the narrator that is why narrator regretted isn't it so as children it's not fair from their side to pass such comments at elderly people that's a wrong attitude right so that is why that was a warning given by grandmother you can see so these are the things which you have to note from the lesson okay let us move to the next page of the lesson well now we know his weakness said grandfather so grandfather also said fine that is everything is fine we now know his weakness whose weakness his weakness python's weakness okay so that is what grandfather is saying his weakness said grandfather are you trying to be funny too demanded grandmother looking her most threatening okay so are you trying to be funny too right can that is what she couldn't believe that how can a python admire how can a python admire itself in front of the mirror and how can it be uh, uh, reptile's weakness isn't it the mirror can't be a weakness of reptile this is what she is intending that is why she is saying why are you so it's it's a funny thing what uh, grandfather is spoke over here that is what she is trying to speak over here demanded grandmother looking her most threatening so she was annoyed at this and uh, she made her threatening face towards grandfather 
I only meant he was becoming very vain, said Grandfather hastily. It should be easier to catch him. So he just turned what he spoke over here, isn't it? So he just turned the meaning of it. That is what Grandfather is saying over here. He is giving another explanation. Grandfather is saying, I only meant what I mean. What I actually mean is that, that he was becoming very vain. That the uh, python was becoming very proud. This is what grandfather Hesley, uh, gra said grandfather Hesley, right? It should be easier to catch him now. So that is what, when he is becoming very proud, it will be much more easier to catch the python. This is what grandfather said. He set about preparing a large cage with a mirror at one end. In the cage, he left a juicy chicken and various other delicacies and fitted up the opening with a trap door. Aunt Mabel had already left by the time we had the strap ready, but we had to go on with the project because we couldn't have the python prowling about the house indefinitely. Okay, So he set about preparing. Who set? Grandfather. Grandfather set about preparing a large cage. A large cage. He started preparing a large cage with the mirror at one end. And in the cage, he tried to put a mirror at a end, at one end of the cage. In the cage, he left a juicy chicken and then to attract the python, he left a juicy chicken inside the cage and various other delicacies like that, some other delicacies which normally the pythons like, right? So these delicacies, delicacies in the sense, very tasty food items, right? Tasty or attractive food items, what normally the Python loved to have. These items, grandfather had put it inside the cage to trap the python, right? And fitted up the opening with a trap door. And there, at the opening, what did he put? He had fitted a trap door. The moment the python enters inside, seeing these delicacies, uh, right? When the python enters inside, what will happen? The trap door will fall automatically and it will be closed it will be caged the python will be caged so this technique he had uh, used to prepare a cage for the python aunt mabel had already left by the time we had this trap ready but we had to go on with the project because we couldn't have the python prowling about the house indefinitely okay so, by the time they prepared the large cage, Aunt Mabel had left the place, okay. Uh, but then they can't uh, stop doing their work of making the cage. They proceeded in making the cage because they can't leave the python prowling about, isn't it? Moving quietly here and there, isn't it? Around in their house. So, they didn't want it, the python to roam about in their uh, in the area of their house or inside the house so in order to get rid of it they planned out and they were preparing they they were not just preparing this cage only for aunt Bibel's sake but for their own sake they were preparing the cage let us move to the next paragraph for a few days nothing happened and then as i was leaving for school one morning i saw the python curled up in the cage so for few days after placing this cage Nothing had happened. The python didn't enter inside, right? And then as I was leaving for school, then when the narrator one day so happened, when the narrator was leaving for school one morning as usual, what happened, what he saw was the python curled up in the cage. It curled up, curled up, curling gets curled up in the cage. You know, reptiles always curl up, isn't it? They don't move about, they don't sit in one position in, in, in a straight uh, lengthy form, right? They just curl themselves up. So here it got inside and it curled up in the cage, tried to fit itself in the cage. He had eaten everything left out for him and was relaxing in front of the mirror with something resembling a smile on his face. If you can imagine a python smiling. I lowered the trap door gently, but the python took no notice. He was in raptures over his handsome reflection. So over here you can see, he had eaten everything left out for him. What were the things left out for him? 
that juicy chicken and some other delicacies so all those tasty stuff whatever was left for the python in the cage was all eaten by the python so the python swallowed all the things whatever was left for him in the cage and after eating it what did he do what did the python do was relaxing in front of the mirror it was in front of the mirror mirror relaxing itself you can see in the picture on the right hand side with something resembling a smile on it, on his face and it looked the way he was looking at himself in the mirror it looked as if he was smiling at his own reflection it looked as if he was smiling at his own reflection if you see that picture you will realize that face of the python looks like a smiley face this is what the narrator is saying if you can imagine a python smiling so if you can just imagine a python smiling then it would really smile it like this right this is what the narrator says so when he was doing so when the python was doing so when the python was admiring itself in the mirror and smiling to his own reflection in the mirror what did the narrator do on the other hand the narrator slowly went to the cage went to the large cage door and he lowered that door and what door it was it was a trap door that door the uh, narrator lowered down so what happens by this it is trapped inside right it got trapped who got trapped the python got trapped inside the cage so it lowered the trap door very gently but the python took no notice he was in raptures but whatever had happened outside was not uh, noticed by the python he was in raptures so the python was extremely happy excited about admiring his own self over his handsome reflection okay so extremely it was happy admiring his handsome looks in the mirror so he didn't notice the python didn't notice what was happening near the door slowly the narrator went to the door and he closed the trap door of the cage grandfather and the gardener put the cage in the pony trap and made a journey to the other side of the river bed grandfather and the gardener had put the cage the cage in which the python was caught was trapped was put in the cage gardener put the cage in the pony trap so it was this cage was put in a pony trap okay pony trap and made a journey to the other side of the river bed and they traveled to the other side of the river bed so this trap of the python was put in the pony trap another trap right and made they slowly moved to the other side of the river bed they moved to the other side they crossed the river and they went to the other side of the river that is what it is said as the other side of the river bed they left the cage in the jungle with the trap door open so that's the other side of the river is the jungle so they left the cage there in the jungle with the trap door open so that they kept the cage in the jungle and they left the trap door open over there so he made no attempt to get out said grandfather later and i didn't have the heart to take the mirror away it's the first time i have seen a snake fall in love right so grandfather said he made no attempt who the python made no attempt to come out of the cage this is what grandfather said this uh, was said by grandfather later on and i didn't have the heart to take the mirror away and grandfather had no had no heart is it have to uh, had i and i didn't have the heart to take the mirror away he didn't feel he didn't feel at all like taking the mirror away by taking the mirror he is going to hurt the python right that he never wanted to do so he didn't take the mirror away it's the first time i have seen a snake fall in love and he says that it is the first time grandfather says that it is the first time that he had seen a snake falling in love with the uh, with its own reflection like this right so this is the story about the grandfather and the python